Hello all of my marvelous friends and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we checked out the stadium and found out that uh, Pokemon of Black Ore exists and we caught two of them and one of them is my beloved Krakena here, who shall have a badass nickname someday soon. And this time episode, we're going to go to Pyrite the Construction Lot. Then yes, I stole a joke, fight me. Actually, don't actually fight me. I love you all. Huh. Interesting. Well, I don't care about you people. I'm only interested about Pyrite. I never understood why they put that there. That's such a weird, a weird time to introduce that area. Um, it's Donaldson. Give me a break here. I keep telling you, I don't know anything. That better be true, Kale. If you're trying to can me, con, con, wow. You know what? You don't deserve that kind of a voice. I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? Well, all right, fine. I'll let you off easy today. See you. That lifeless body just walking away. <laughs> what a nitwit. Of course I haven't got a thing to tell you. Huh. This game certainly has some atmosphere, let me tell ya. Alright, um... Oh god, what... What do I want to do? Where do I want to go? There's a lot just opened up. Um... This is Pirate, the town of Earth, Wind, and Money! You appear to be outsiders, you best beware. There are many ne'er do wells sorts here. Well, let's just talk to some folks and uh, see what we're looking at here. Hmm. You thugs must be Mirabee's newest recruits. Well, shoot! Beat it! I don't have any money to give the, to the likes of you. I'm a good guy! Hmm. Let's go. There's so, so much just opened up, and I just kind of forgot about it. Let's go into this building first. Oh. What a dingus. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I'm sorry, Chief, but there's trouble afoot. You see, Chief, there's talk that thugs have witnessed, been witnessed using strange Pokemon. Huh? Chief? You're not the Chief. I beg your pardon. I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. I've heard it over and over already. Oh. Oh, Chief, there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> Johnson's kind of an idiot. Well, well. We saw him at the beginning of the game. Let's talk to you. No? Okay. What about here? <laughs> what? Not you two again. Listen, you have to promise, don't tell Mirror B that we're hiding out here, okay? After we blew our last chance, we couldn't go back, so we turned ourselves in for stealing that truck, and here we are. If we stayed here, we'd be safe. <laughs> oh my gosh, they... L so, instead of going to face Mirror B, they turned themselves in. So Mirror B must be some scary guy. Let's go here. Nice windmill-looking place. And really odd area. Let's see if the TV has anything to say about this Pokemon atmosphere. We've just received breaking news. According to the rest of the Snag, remember the smaller Snag machine is compact enough to be carried by a single person. Wearing this machine transformed ordinary Pokeballs into po Snag Balls. A Snag Ball is an alarming device. It can actually steal Pokemon from their trainers. It is hoped that their mis the missing Snag machine will not be used for criminal purposes again. I don't plan on it. What do you have to say? Are you trying to sell me something? Well, sorry, I don't need anything. Please leave. Wow. With all the muscle-bound roughnecks. About... That's not a surprise, but when Duking was in charge, there wasn't any of this lawlessness you see today. What's come over Duking? Ducking? I'm gonna say Duking. Oh, I just moved the C-stick to see if maybe I could move the camera, and this is the fixed camera angle. Kaelin, you numbskull. 
The hotel here is kind of weird. You can pay, I think, what is it, $100? Yeah, basically you pay $100 to heal. And it's stupid. You can just heal at a Poke Center. Um, let's talk to you. Okay, tackle. No, don't get confused. Okay. Dude's passed out. Also, it's kind of weird that the beds are laid out like that. Just kind of like in the middle of the room. Especially of like a circular room. Hello. It wasn't that long ago when Duking was the man in Pirate Town and Pirate. But now that outright that right out there weird mirror being a stooges ride heard over the town. What the heck? I wonder what's so special about that mirror B guy. Well I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, this is a weird place. I don't I don't really like it. What do you gotta say, my good man? Wah, boy, that was good sleep. I must have slept through all of last week. I was totally exhausted from the tower construction job. Apparently some fabulously rich guy had the tower built. It's amazing stuff. Huh, so that tower he bought, the passed by must have been purchased and built by some rich guy. What do you have to say, young lady? Oh, look at what we have here. You're quite the hottie. Why don't you, why don't you lose that wallflower with you and be my sweetie? Okay! Wait a second, who are you call who are you to call me a wallflower? What makes me a wallflower? <laughs> Look at her, she's all serious. I'm cool. I'm only teasing out of boredom. A guy like him, he's not my taste. Not my taste? Can't let be a man stomp her down. Yeah, I'm going to. Screw you. Not your taste, Emok. You stupid mother -er. I'm kidding. <laughs> that might have been too far. <laughs> Alright, let's try and take him out. <coughs> oh, would you look at that? Croconaw's already gone down a little bit for heart... Um, heart ga oh, that went down a lot. So right now, it only knows the move Shadow Rush. So what Shadow Rush is... Whoops. It's a typeless, 90 power, 100 accurate move. So let's use that. Whoops! God dang it. Shadow Rush on Gulpin and Confusion on Zubat. So yeah, Shadow, Shadow Rush is a very, very powerful move. Probably one of the more powerful in the game. So we'll see here, we'll probably take out Gulpin. I guess not. Downside! You get hit with Recoil every time. It's not a lot! But you still get hit, and that kind of sucks. That can be a life or death situation. So let's take out Gulpin with Confusion, and as you can see, Croconaw does not gain experience. Don't worry, he will eventually, just at the moment, he's not able to. Oh, big yawn. Oh boy, that's a big yawn. You got all serious. What kind of a man battles a frail girl like me without easing up? You're not you're going you're not going to win the hearts of girls that way. Well screw you too. Kaylin, it was in this here square, circle, that I saw that strange Pokemon. I tried to leave town afterwards, and that's when those creeps grabbed me. We should be careful. Even at the best of times, there's nothing normal about uh, this town. Okay. So this is a dual square. Um, including this guy. Every one of these uh, trainers has a Pokemon with a black aura. I am going to be speeding all but two, or not two, all but one battle. And when we get to that one battle, you'll see why. So let's start, I think, starting with you. Huh? You want to battle me? Yeah, sure thing. Battling fans are always welcome.
And of course, it's the last trainer that I have to fight that I wanted to do at normal speed because that just makes too much sense, now doesn't it? Anyway. Yes, I would like to capture uh, Knocked Owl because I remember when I. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be good. Remember when I said Knocked Owl was one of my more personal favorite Hoot Hoot and Knocked Owl, it's Evolution Knocked Owl, one of my four more personal favorites? Well, here we go. I would love to catch one and use on the team because I think, one, Knocked Owl is more especially defensive than most, so he would fit in well with that aspect. And I just think he's a really underutilized Pokemon. He can take a lot of hits, surprisingly better than you'd think. And you're probably thinking, oh man, you know, when are you going to get to the wild Pokemon? Well, there is no wild Pokemon in this game. Oh, see, look at that. That barely did anything. So yeah, these Pokemon are scripted encounters, and there's only like maybe 50 of them you can catch. So it's very limited on what you can and can't catch in this game, which is makes it easy to 100% if you have the time. Um, I want to try Shadow Rush, see how that does. The debuff, you suck. Alright. Wingle. I like Wingle. In, at least design-wise. Oh, come on. Of course, it just can't ever work in my favor. It's always got to be hyper mode. Almost a reverse mode, but that's the next game. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. I'm getting tired. I'm sorry for yawning. I hope, I hope they made you all yawn too. It's currently 9 12 p.m. on a Saturday night. Or not Saturday, Friday night, because I have. Nothing better to do than just record some Pokemon Coliseum because dang it I wanted to do this and I really like this game and I think it needs more appreciation than it gets Holy crap, that's you are gonna do oh, that's amazing No, oh my god uh. I have a feeling it's gonna be hard, but let's Let's try it. I think classic Pokemon would look nice with it. All right. Let's see. One. Yeah, I kind of figured. And it just popped right back up. Cool. Now, just because Crocodile's heart gauge is all the way down doesn't mean it's going to be able to lose the black ore right away. It's going to take some time. It's still it's still a long ways away. Plus we have more we we literally just got like five shadow Pokemon we can work on. At least have in the background. Shoot. Return. Hopefully return does a little bit more. Oh good, that did a lot more than what I was hoping. Hit yourself. Thank you. Get you down into red health. Kabalamity Blam. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! That was too close for comfort. Please, Excellent Season Premier Ball, please. I'm gonna call because it doesn't do anything. You call is also really good if you, you just wanna waste a turn. Oh my gosh, I thought you knocked out was gonna go down. One. Two. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, and Dual Square was defeated. You're saying I lost? Same All right, now that Krokana has done its stuff. Right then, I like your style. Here's a useful tip: if a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, it attacks become more likely to be critical hits. What a surprise! Hey, yeah. Wait. No. Anyway, um, because it was going too fast, you can actually um, fight them as many times as you want. So if you fail a capture, you know, no big deal. You can just fight them again. 
It's not the case in all in the rest of the game, but in this, this is a special case. I want to get my knocked owl. <laughs> All right, I understand there's been a lot of battling in this episode, but I want to test out Knocked Owl here. Let's put Mistrevis in the back round for now. And let's send Knocked Owl, first female of the team, put her up front. Now let's go. Let's fight this guy and let's debut. Have Knocked Owl's debut. Battles bring me so much joy. Let's get started, little little boy. Roller Boy Lon. Lon Lon! Lon Lon's ranch. And a slug bomb. And a slug bomb. Yeah, see, Knocked Owl already has 107 HP, so it's it's way tanky. I think it's a, a normal flying type. Whoops, not what I want to see. I think. Let's see. Whoops. Yeah, it's normal flying. I really wish it was like psychic flying. But hey, normal is my favorite type in all of Pokemon. I think it's, you know, really versatile. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball first turn and see what happens. I doubt I'm gonna catch it, but it's worth it's worth a try. One, two, three. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Eagerly buff. See, knockdown might take a little bit longer, but that just maybe because it's nature might take it a while. I'm not really gonna be focusing on natures in here because metaing in this game is is basically if you don't get the one that you want, it's just a restart. So I don't want to do it. Um, I'm gonna knock out Igly Buff in one shot because I feel like I can with confusion. Boom! Critical hit too. That's what I like to see in my. That's what I like to see in my Pokemon games. And a swab! One of the very few Gen 3 Pokemon games in here. Or Pokemon games. Just Pokemon. Sorry, Zubril. You're cute. I love you, but sorry. Plus, when you evolve into a Meryl, you're probably going to become a boy. Yeah. The gender ratio between Azumarill or Azumarill to Meryl, it's like Meryl is like 50-50, where Azumarill is like 75-25, 75% being female. So like one third, if I'm doing math right, I, I doubt it. One third of all, of all Azumarills become male if they're female, and that's just that's funny. All right, let's call Knocked Out because it's probably gonna take a lot out of its heart gauge. Oh my gosh, that did a full meter. That was a lot. And Swablu goes down. There we go. Okay, I promise you this is gonna be our last battle of of, uh, of this episode at least. I told you this game is very battle heavy. I hope you like my show, but now it's time for me to go. You do the rhyme, you do the time. Okay, everyone, we've all had our fun. Until next week, farewell. Okay. Let's go in here. Because apparently, for as dirty a town as this place is, it's wind-powered. This windmill power generates electricity powering the Coliseum. See, at least he calls it a Coliseum, not a flippin' stadium. Oh, for 30 long years, I have spun these gears. Oh, what's it with you, younglings? Do you want to spin gears too? Yes. Wow, not to disappoint you, but this isn't a job that is anyone can pick up. He seems really happy that he can spin these gears. 
So do you think he- when did he come up with that song? Do you think he started it in like day one? I don't know. There was one house we didn't go into. And it's this one here. So let's go in and see what's up. Hello? The name's Duking. I run the Coliseum here. If you want to enter a battle, go see the Coliseum's receptionist. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. Huh. Um, I'm the lookout. Nobody's supposed to get by me. There's nothing special behind this bookshelf. I have always wanted a secret hideout like this. Oh, this is so cool. My sister hasn't done anything but chatter. I thought this was a battle at first. I'm so bored. I want to play house. That's why, Marsha, we've got to somehow snag them from those criminals. Snag them, you say? How did you get in here? That's weird. My little brother's supposed to be on lookout. Your little brother sucked. I'm sorry, you can probably hear that sirens going outside my apartment. Are you Papa's friends? I'm Marsha. I'm pleased to meet you. But sorry, we're busy. We're talking about something that's quite important. Please, come visit and play with us another time. And that other time will be never. Alright, so we're going to take a... Oh, never mind. Duking, how much more are you going to be take from mere being a stooges? They're just using you in the Colosseum. What's the matter with you? Have they sucked the spirit right out of you? So you just clam up. I've lost faith in you. The man that went out is Silva. He's Duking's friend. But he was really angry. His face looks scary. Sorry, but I'm busy. You'll have to excuse me. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to the Coliseum receptionist and see what to do. Uh. Hello, welcome to Pirate Coliseum. Are you here to register for entry? Yes. I'm sorry, but the current challenge is already underway. Please wait for the next challenge's registration. <sighs> Darn. Well, anyway, this is a good stopping point because there, we didn't have much progress in the way of story, but we added a new team member. Huh? Look at this beautiful knocked owl. So precious looking. Anyway, next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we're going to exit the Coliseum and see what else there is to do in town. See you guys then.